All right, everyone. So up next, it is my pleasure to introduce Sir Avium with Silent Hill, the arcade. Hi, everyone. How are we doing? I can't believe we met this goal. Are you guys excited to see this game? Can we get some hype in chat for the Silent Hill Arcade? A lot of you don't even know this game existed. So before I get started on this, I just want to give you some background information about the Silent Hill Arcade. Because once I start, um, it, it, there's no pausing. So you can see my cursor on the screen, which is the blue shooting circle of the Windows icon here. Um, this game does have a photo sensitivity warning. So I want to put that out there that if anybody does have photo sensitivity, please be aware of that. Um, this game came out in 2007 as an art stand-up arcade game in a lot of uh, arcade locations like round one. There is currently only five of these machines in the United States and uh, at arcades. Um, this game is not technically intended for the PC. So, so if for any reason this game crashes, like I look out of the window I accidentally click out of the window or anything like that, the game crashes. Um, there are four different endings on this game. There's the normal ending, the bad ending, the good ending, and the UFO ending. We're going to be going for the good ending on this. This is a showcase, not a speed run. So I am going to be showing you all cutscenes without um, skipping over those. Um, but anyway, are you guys ready? Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm excited for this. All right, Sarah, and we're ready to count down whenever you are. And I'm very yeah. excited to see this as well because I personally haven't either. And actually, the just timer ends, at the we top. Have time for a donation. Well, let me go to the countdown. You see that countdown timer at the top? There's your countdown timer. So, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Timer start. Go for it, Sneevil. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, Sarah. So from Fallen Isle, or Fallen Isle, I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong, we have a 25 pound donation with no comment, but Fallen, thank you so much for the donation going towards the Worldwide Veterinary Service. Thank you so much, Fallen. So this does have a story. Um, this game does take place in locations from Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, and 4, with some influence from Silent Hill Origins in it. So Eric and um, Tina here, they uh, decided to come to Silent Hill on vacation. Their friend Bill, who apparently has guns, fell down and now they are looking for Jesse and a little girl named Emily and here we go we have unlimited ammo I'm playing this on very easy with 200 health you can actually the normal health on this is 100 and the game is typically played on normal mode but there is very easy easy normal hard and extreme mode for this you do not run out of ammo, so we just sit here and spam the firing. This gaming has three stages. Each stage has three areas. But you will be seeing monsters from both uh, Silent Hill 1 through 4. These monsters that I'm firing at right now that kind of look like monkeys, those are from Silent Hill 4. And of course, the dogs are a repeated occurrence monster throughout the franchise. We do have a special someone coming in later on in this game that you all will recognize. Do we have time for another donation? Absolutely. Interrupt me at any point, Single. Oh, perfect, sir. You're so nice. Um, so we have a 20 pound donation from Lemites. Saying, go Sneevil, go. I mean, go Sarah, go. I can't see Thank you for that donation, Lemites. Thanks, Lemites. We... All right, we got bats from the Silent Hill 4 franchise. 
So we're just in Silent Hill proper right now. Some of these enemies, like these guys, well, I stunk at that, will give you extra points. So the point system, since this is an arcade game, um, is that's exactly what it is. It's just trying to get high scores. It has nothing to do with the game. There are a couple of different routes in the game. I will be taking the shortest route possible. Give me a break. And every now and then, enemies will drop health items. That will increase our health only slightly. Watch out! I killed those enemies so fast, the game didn't even know what Jesse? to do. So right now we're going after our first friend, Jesse, who is in the Brookhaven Hospital. So you guys should be familiar with um, Brookhaven Hospital from the Silent Hill games. Two hospitals in the Silent Hill franchise, both um, Alchemedia Hospital and Brookhaven Hospital. Stage 1, Wait, Area 2 what? takes place in Brookhaven oh, Hospital. Going on. Tina, watch your feet. And now we're in Otherworld Silent Hill with the lovely, iconic Silent Hill nurses. This is fine, exactly. And we're coming up to our first choice of direction in the game. Going straight will take us to a shotgun. Um, I am going to showcase that to you. Going to the right skips the shotgun. Now the handgun that we have is unlimited ammo, but any of the guns that we pick up along the way, and there are a few of those, they have a limited firing amount. So yes, we will pick up the shotgun. We only have 24 shots, and then it will go back to our original gun. Now, as you can tell, these are the nurses based off of the first Silent Hill game. You aren't paying attention. Don't look away. This game, you cannot pause this game. There is no pausing since it is an arcade. Oops, I missed. There's no pausing, so we have to do this in one, one, entire, uh, one entire go. The game is very dark. I did increase the uh, brightness for you guys a little bit. So now we've got slugs. Slugs. Who doesn't like slugs? We got a bonus score token there. All right, we are now back to regular Silent Hill, the boat horn. I think so, but I'm not positive. So this game does actually have a story to it. If you remember in Silent Hill 2, Did they discussed a boat no, no. I think that you sunk on Lake it. Toluca, killing all the passengers. This is about some various passengers that were on that boat. And that is why we are hearing that boat noise. Right now I'm just using a mouse yeah, just as your firing somewhere. gun. There no. is an adapter Stop for it. this to be able to use a Wiimote gun. It's very, very finicky and crashes quite often. So mouse and keyboard is the easiest for this. Here's our influence from Silent Hill Origins where everything what was that? goes because of fire and in comes our favorite villain. Welcome on in Pyramid Head. He will be a reoccurring enemy throughout this game. We are actually aiming for his stomach area because it does the most damage versus his head. 
And we are going to be just continually firing at him, which um, makes it so that he doesn't um, catch up to us because we want to keep doing that knockback on him. And we can gain points just by firing at his sword. Once again, the points are nothing but, you know, an arcade game. And if you don't get a knockback on this, he will grab you and hurt you there. All right, so now what can make this any better? Let's add in a bunch of brooches on top of this. There's our friend Jesse. We're going to make a very, very feeble attempt to save her. Sometimes I get this one and sometimes I don't. But we are going to try and save her the best that we can. So we need to focus everything on Pyramid Head. And we will take the hits from the... Mo yep, okay, good. If we don't um, save Jesse, he will actually yeet her to the right and kill Jesse. Um, but since he dropped her, we did save her. So in that case, if you want to save her and are not very good at this game like me, you uh, just don't even bother with the bugs. You focus all your fire on Pyramid Head. And again... And anytime it says hold your fire along the top, we're in a cutscene and I cannot do anything. So we have first survivor saved. We need three individuals saved in order to get the good ending. Again, there is a good, a normal, a bad, and a UFO ending. And we're headed for the good ending. All right, we saved Jesse. Can I get some hyperclaps in chat for saving Jesse? There's no dog ending, Andy. I'm sorry, just a UFO ending. But it is a hilarious UFO ending if you can actually manage to find all the UFOs and shoot them down. Emily is one of the little girls that came on vacation with you. No, we can't get through from here. Let's try and find another route. So again, we're still in Brookhaven Hospital. However, you will see familiar rooms from the Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 franchise in this one, even though they do not take place in the same hospital. Actually, no, two and three are in Brookhaven Hospital, so. One is an Alchemedia hospital. Forgetting my Silent Hill lore here. Dogs and nurses. Don't worry, guys. If I lose, we're on free play, and we'll just keep going. And now back to the other world. Yes, leeches, leeches. And now we have these like wicker men. This is fine, save the animals. Well, not the leeches. Daft invader, we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of the leeches. And unfortunately the dogs are this one. I like how throughout this entire game, they keep saying, no more, this is it, I'm done with this, forget this game. And then they're like, no, we'll keep going. At least it's not Big Buck Hunter. <clears throat> the door is locked. A key is required. Doors locked in a Silent Hill game? Who's surprised? Not me. We have to be a little careful with some of these nurses here because they start to have um, guns on them as well. All right, we are going to go straight. Gamers go left. Gain back some health on that one. 
and grab the key for the elevator. Now, if we had not saved Jesse from Pyramid Head, this would be a whole different route. So it does um, give you some replayability if you do choose to not save some of the characters. Now, I know Tally was watching me earlier and I didn't save her, so she didn't see this area. But now we're in the elevator. Headed up to the roof, because that seems fine. This is fine. All right, last area of stage one. Emily, where are you? We've come to save you. Emily. You guys might recognize this area from Silent Hill 2. Normally you'd be up here with Maria trying to get a key out of a tipped over refrigerator. What was that cry? And they obviously got some pointers from uh, Capcom on the voice acting. And we're coming up to the boss battle for the very first area, the final boss battle for area one. Emily. This monster coming up is called tuberculosis. This is fine. This particular monster has a hitbox on his chest that we're gonna be aiming for to knock him backwards. Anytime he starts to snarl at us, we're gonna be aiming for his mouth like that. Trying to knock him back on his chest while we move around in order to maintain um, his distance on this. Otherwise he will grab you. Nope, did I get him? There we go, I barely caught him. I barely caught him that time. Ah, I missed. Right there when he comes in on you with the open mouth, you've got to hurry and fire on his mouth. Technically, yeah, he a big boy. It is a Pokemon. Technically, I could just keep firing like this, but I do want to save y'all's ears a little bit when I don't have to. Honestly, um, the only sad part about this game is it is a two-player game since it is an arcade game. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. There we go. We got him, though. First boss battle done with. Um, you can't play this two-player in the actual arcade, but unfortunately, the um, PC port of this game, we haven't found a way to get player two working. But we did save Emily, who is very integral to the story of this game. Emily's mom passed away a while ago in an accident. She is here with her dad. Hey, rank A, not so bad. You can get up to an S rank on this. I did get hit a few times, Emily, and my health is how low. How do we get to the lake? If you go through the back door of the Museum of Historical Materials, you will be able to get to the dock quickly. All right, let's take that way. All right, so now we're going to be going into the Silent Hill Historical Society. It's really messed up here. Where her father manages. Emily's father is responsible for taking care of this museum. And this also will go down into Toluca Prison. All right. Can I get a $1 hype train for boat horn noises? Speaking of donations, we just got one in. From Excellent, go for it. Ooh. Nico Hart. I love him. 
Oh, and he, the comment in his uh, 10 pound donation is, I love you. Oh, I love you too, Miko. I can't wait. I'm so glad you get to redeem yourself after this run. So you guys get to see a really terrible game and then you get to see a really good game. But I do hope you're enjoying this. Yes, a one pound hype train for boat horns. Or owos, or oo-woos. All right, here we go. This is gonna be one of the main monsters for the area down here. This is uh, Split Worm. Um, if you guys remember this monster from Silent Hill 3, yes. Oh, well. Mwah! To you, Nico Heart. Thank you for that. I actually no oh yes sorry Sarah no you're good I just noticed we are only five pounds away from two thousand three hundred pounds ooh I know we can make that before we get through this game guys for this sure this way our main character here his great grandfather was the uh, captain of the sh of the ship that went down I guess he's telling you the story Here's your plot dump. Little Baroness. <sighs> Little Baroness is mentioned in Silent Hill 2 in one of the memos. So that's kind of where this game ties in. Is this canon? I don't think so. What is this place? We entered from Do we have time for another earlier, donation? Didn't we? Absolutely. Is All right, so Lemites is trying to start off a one pound hype trading train. Yay! Donating one pound saying, Hype Train. Oh, wow. All right, so now we're in the sewers underneath the Silent Hill Historical Society, heading on our way to Toluca Prison. And we have entered in what I like to call the big boys. I know they have an official name, but big boys are now in play in the game. If we have time for another one, they're just rolling in. Excellent, keep them coming. Perfect, so from Costa Dinov, we have a five pound donation saying for the horns. Thank you oh, so much wow. for your donation. Oh. Boat horn noise. All right, this room is m pretty much just a big dump to get health back as fast as you can. Ugh, I didn't do this very good on that, but that's okay. Thank you, Costa. Lamites, thank you for that. And I just noticed with that, we did hit 2,300 pounds. 2,300 pound hype, thank you guys. Okay, he's down. We're gonna be coming up to another area where we do have a directional choice shortly. I mean, can we actually get to 2400 in this? Yeah, Insane Cancer, th yeah, that's his name. Thank you for that center keys. I just call him Big Boy. Yeah, it is creepy when their face is like right up in yours. Do we have time for another donation? Absolutely, let him keep on coming in. All right, so it seems like we have a five pound donation train starting up because Dan Spence 94 just donated five pounds, saying all the oo-woos and oh woes and that's the only oo-woo and oh woe you get from me, Keck. Smash it, Sarah <laughs> and Nico, the Thunderthon's resident power couple alongside the boss man and boss lady part. Thank you so much, Dan Spence. Guys, thank you for that. Ooh, ooh, oh well. Does this hurt the worm? I don't know, but it gives us points up to a 20 combo. All right. 
Cutscene. Toluca Prison. Stage 2. And we've got a new boss battle coming up. Because, you know, Toluca Prison just turned into magma. And the worm just, you know, went all, uh... Super Saiyan on us. Liquid hot magma, exactly. Now I can't do it like Dr. Evil. The floor is lava. And we've also got leeches coming out of the lava because that seems, seems legitimate. Absolutely. All right, so from Daft Invader, we have a one pound donation saying, Hype train, chugga, 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 ooh, woo. And Thank you. And a 10 pound donation from Anonymous. Thank you very much, Anonymous, whoever you are. Thank you for that choo choo train of $1 pounds. Choo choo, chugga, 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 chugga. All right, second per character is saved. We have saved our art, Ryan. You always have to save Emily, so she doesn't count. But we have saved Jesse, and we have saved Ryan. Ryan reminds me of my friend, Sketchy Dentist, so I'm always going to try and save him. And we have one more character we have to save coming up. All right. So now we gotta get this like kind of psychedelic blue and red kind of feel to the game for a little while. It's a little harsh on your eyes. Do we have time for another donation? Absolutely, keep them coming. All right, they just keep rolling in. We have a five pound donation from Lemite saying, the one pound train was a lonely one. I want in the five pound train. Well, you're in now Lemite and thank you so much for your five pound donation. Thank you. Choo choo. Now on this part, we do have to, I have to be a little bit careful because of where the enemies are coming from that I don't accidentally click off of the screen because that would crash the entire game. And we have to start over from the beginning. So don't want that. It smells awful down here. That's because we're underneath the lake somehow in a prison. Ooh. Don't fret, people. If I get a game over, we're going to keep on going because this is just a showcase. Who does it? like bugs here. Lots of bugs in this area. Ooh, damn. Damn! I'm so low on hit points. That's okay. That's okay. No, that's not your eyes. That is the screen. Bleeding all sorts of crazy colors. We are in a, essentially a lovely fever dream of a little girl named Hannah. Yeah, see our marinara walls. I kind of like to think of them as like Van Gogh walls. Yes, we are safe. Are we safe? Here comes our choice. Look, chat. There are two doors. Which one should we go through? Or we always go through the first one. Here? Not a Hannah Montana, just Hannah. This room will get us a key. I know gamers go left, but in this case, we've got to go center to pick up this key for the rusted key. I wonder which room this key is for. This key is actually for the door that is now on our left. 
Now, if you went here first, it would say the door is locked, and then it would give you the choice of going through the other doors. Just being kind of a time save issue. And we want to keep the big boys down. All right. These guys get really close. I can't believe I'm hanging on with four hit points left. But like I said, you can change the uh, the uh, hit points on this. Normally, standard is 100 hit points. I did bump it up to 200 because, you know. There must be another way. Let's search. It's behind you. Oh, that was close. And if we let these um, slugs stay on the screen for too long, they will do damage to us. This is not a speed run, but we are going fast. Exactly. This is a slow play. This is a showcase because I know many of you have never seen this game before. And it's kind of a really corny, cheesy rail shooter. And if you appreciate the Silent Hill franchise, if you appreciate horror games, this has to be in your repertoire at some point. Would this be a good time for a donation? Absolutely. Perfect. So continuing on this donation train, we have a five pound donation from Raging Mule saying choo choo, oo woo, oh woe. Choo choo, oo woo, oh woe. All right, we are here to try and save the last one of our friends. His name, this is George. He will have a hit point bar right here in the middle. We've got to kill him and fight this boss mob before his hit points expire. Her name is called Mama. This is a marionette mob. And we can see George's hit points right there in the middle. The point is to just keep shooting at her and definitely aiming at her face the best that we can. I will most likely die through this because of my hit points right now. That's okay, we'll keep going. If we don't save George, we'll get the normal ending. So very, very tough trying to save him. The oh my goodness, I hate this part because she runs around so much. Oh, we're cutting it close. We're cutting it close. There we go. Got it. No, we did it. We did it. No. We got it. There we go. Let's hurry and keep going. George. Eric! And we have saved George, which is the third of our friends to save. So we have saved all friends, so we are on the path for the good ending. Come on. <laughs> there is a monster similar to that in Homecoming. Now, once again, center key is ooh! Ooh, S rank. I don't often get an S rank ever. Yay. As a reminder, this game did come out in 2007 in Japan. And so it does have some influences from those. A few members of Team Silent were on the creation team for this game. So now we're going to get on to the Little Baroness, which is a lovely ship from 1914, only to appear in the mall for Silent Hill 3. Not inside the ship. Whatever. We need to find Emily. What? <laughs> what? It's here. And incoming mobs from the Silent Hill 3 franchise. And now's a good time for any donations if we have any more coming in. Uh, yes, we the... actually do have the train still rolling. Yeah, keep it up. 
All right, so Lermites donated another five pounds, saying, actually, I'm not sure exactly how to say this, but can I get a papaya ya ya? Papaya ya! Papaya ya! It's a papaya with an aya ya, so papaya ya! Yes, we've got the Silent Hill 3 mall inside of the Little Baroness ship that get, was on a, it's a steamship. Oh, really. please, Tina. Oh, please. Now, the UFO ending for this game actually has, apparently along the way in this game, there are various UFOs that you have to shoot in order to get the UFO ending. I'll be honest with you, I've never seen any of the UFOs in this game, so I'm very curious to see where they actually exist. I know, right? Tina, yeah, please. That would be an interesting thing to route, would be finding out where all the UFOs are for the UFO ending. Maybe, maybe I'll work on trying to figure that out. Also, anybody that was in my channel when I did play this game during our Silent Hill Marathon would know that this game is so finicky that if a USB reconnects or disconnects from your computer, it will crash the game. So this morning when I found out that we reached our incentive goal, I ripped out every single USB and peripheral from my computer tower, except for my mouse, my keyboard, and my audio mixer. And now we are in the subway. Somehow, we're in the subway. Reminder, we were still on the little Baroness ship, but we are in the subway now. Yeah, I ripped all the USBs. I, I tore my computer apart to make sure that this would be stable to showcase to you guys today. And now's a good time for donations if we have any more. So nothing right now, but I do want to remind everyone the reason we're all donating today. We're all donating towards the Worldwide Veterinary Service, which provides free expert care to animals in need all over the world. They do this by send sending veterinarians where they are needed most, what kind of world training is them this? to increase the standard of care globally, and by Emily's shipping memory? urgent aid supplies worldwide every week of the year. So thank you all for your donations thus far. and. We have already reached so like over 2,000 pounds for this, so thank you all so much. And now we're in Lakeside Amusement Park. If you guys are familiar with this mascot, this is Robbie the Rabbit. And oddly enough, they decided not to render any of the other mascots for Lakeside Amusement Park. They only rendered Robbie the Rabbit in here. So we have a couple of different versions of Robbie the Rabbit in this area. We have Robbie the Rabbit that throws axes at you, which you can hit out of the sky to help, uh, you know, save it. We, we have Robbie the Rabbits with chainsaws and Robbie the Rabbits with rifles. Robbie's the only marketable one. Well, it's the only one anybody ever recognizes, but man, they could have, uh, they could have changed this up a little bit in this area. Ah, oh, darn. So, order in which we want to try and get rid of them is Robbies that have the rifle, Robbies that are throwing axes at you, and then the chainsaw. And this game is very dark, so don't adjust your screen. This this section is very, very dark. And hey, look. We should recognize the um, rocket ride from Silent Hill 3.
Oh my goodness, I changed the sound. Sarah, do I have a little bit of time to announce a new incentive we just got in? Absolutely. All right, so if we remember from the beginning of the marathon, we had a bit of technical difficulties where we could not continue with Nico Hart's run. However, he will be back after this run doing um, a full run of alien isolation. So I see here if we reach the goal of 3,000 pounds, Nico Hart will become Dr. Evil during his run. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope we can hit that, guys. Three hours of Dr. Evil. Don't you guys want that? All right, we've got another option here to take the shotgun. We might as well take it. Why not? Everybody likes a good shotgun. And we are heading to a very, very familiar section of both Silent Hill 1 and Silent Hill 3. You're going to recognize this area a little bit more from Silent Hill 3. However... Yes, it must be met, Scott. Do we have time to announce a new donation? Absolutely. All One right, million so dollars. All right, so we have a three pound donation from Daft Invader saying, save the animals unless they have axes and chainsaws. Exactly. So, stage three, area two. You should recognize this carousel from Silent Hill 3, where we fight, where Heather fights the Alyssa Shade. this is actually to get all of the Robbies, if we can, on the carousel, slumped over before the game decides to go elsewhere. And we got it. This adds an extra cutscene. start to appear in your dreams. Not a dream. Mommy is calling me to go to the lake. But Emily, your mommy is... That's not true. Oh, yes. You're right. I understand. Uh, let me ask you again. What is your name? <sighs> so Emily is being possessed by the hey, spirit of Hannah, a that girl is? that died yeah, on the... I don't understand. ...little baroness. Not again. Pyro Jack, welcome on in. Somehow we are now back in the Toluca prison. And why is Pyramid Head here again? I have no idea. Because why not? Why not? So right now we are going through memories of both Hannah and Emily. Again, we're gonna be targeting Pyramid Head's um, torso area because it does more damage than trying to hit him in the um, head area to knock him back like that so he doesn't hit us. We are already dead and we have gone to the other side. Tina, we're not dead yet. You're fine. These things on the ceiling, oh, I missed them all, um, are just a point area for a bunch of extra points if you were going for a high score run. So again, the nurses now have guns. Good luck with the donations. Thank you so much for the center keys. You have a lovely sleep, beautiful dreams, and an amazing heckin' day tomorrow. 
various ominous drones. Yeah, most people have never seen the Silent Hill arcade game. Very, very, very few machines were ever placed in U.S. arcades. And speaking of donations, we have a new one if we have time. Absolutely. All right, so we have a five pound donation from Costa Dinov saying, contribution to save the sharks with laser beams attached to their heads. <laughs> what an important cause. Sharks with laser beams. I know you guys want to hear that for the three hours of alien isolation. We want some Dr. Evil. Yeah, so it's definitely an arcade showcase to sell other games. Again, once again, this has themes from Silent Hill 1, 2, 3, 4. You'll definitely see some influences to Silent Hill 4 coming up here soon. Oops, I died. I wasn't paying attention to my health. That's okay. All right, we knocked him back. That's essentially a point dump up top there. For a new donation. Absolutely. So what I was I was actually just about to say we are 10 pounds away from 2350. However, Lemites just came in with a 10 pound donation, hitting 2350, saying we could do it, chat. Hyperclap. We Thank can so do it, Mike. chat. At least it's not the movie pyramid head. No, they're they're very specifically using the Silent Hill 2 pyramid head in this one. Alright, now we have our actual boss battle fight with Pyramid Head. And what could make this more fun with killing Pyramid Head? What, what could we add to this to make this more interesting? Yes, that's right. Bats. The bird bat things. We actually do have to focus on Pyramid Head a little bit and ignore some of the birds in order to make sure that we knock him back in time. Oh, we've got, mo this is the third time, um, Luca, that we have seen Pyramid Head. Hold on, I wasn't paying attention. I was reading chat. Again, we wanna focus on his torso section. And now we, we've got, Cockroaches! Because we need that on our screen while we're trying to get rid of Pyramid Head. And there we go with the Pyramid Head fight. Oh. Hana, I brought you a friend today. Whoa, More plot you. dump. But it's alright. Okay, thank you. But Hana. What is it? Don't you feel like going outside? Why don't we go to Toluca Lake tomorrow? We haven't been there for years. All right, so that's Hannah and their mother. And if you look, notice this, eight, 1918, 1993. So that this part is from Silent Hill 4. We are moving from the time that this game takes place in 1993 down to 1990 or uh, 1918 using the Silent Hill 4 spiral staircase that we normally go down to meet Walter Sullivan with to go back in time to 1918 during the time of when the boat was actually on the Toluca Lake. I have never done that before. That I have never done that before. I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> I have never been hit there before. That was new to me. That was not speed strat. That actually was a time loss if you were running this. So there is a speedrun.com speedrun um, leaderboard for this. There is only three people on the leaderboards. Eka Dykus actually holds the world record for this for 38 minutes and I believe 14 seconds. He does do a lot of uh, cutscene skips, 
And his rapid fire am amazes me on his uh, ability on his uh, mouse. He also does it with only 100 hit points, no deaths, and on normal mode. Well, this is 200 health on very easy. I don't know if they even have a category for that. But I will submit it just for a nice shit post and see if Punchy will take it. <laughs> All right, so here's Emily being possessed by Hannah and the ghost of, um, I believe her name is Lenore? Lorraine, my, my mistake. And then we see that Lorene actually killed her daughter, Hannah, by throwing her off the side of the boat. Which is why Hannah's soul never was put to rest. Hey, what are you trying to do? I'm going to follow. But... If we run away here, the nightmare won't end. All right, let's go. So they jump into the water to save her. Now, in order to get the good ending, we actually have to get rid of all the hands on this. So I will need a little bit of concentration, but if you do have any donations, go ahead and read them. So no donations in right now. However, I do want to thank again our sponsor, Online Adventures, for helping the show this all together. There's so many people working behind the scenes, helping the out tech people. Um, I wouldn't start going over names, but I'll start talking for 10 minutes. So just thank you everyone who's been involved, and thank you everyone who's here in the chat. So we're focusing on the face area of this monster. And the hands. These hands that come up, we have a very limited amount of time to get through, get rid of all eight of them. If we can get rid of all eight while we have tentacles in the way, you guys know I love tentacles then we will get the good ending. If I don't get all of these hands out of the way, um, we will be getting the normal ending. So I will be ignoring and not worrying too much about getting um, not hurt to try and get rid of all of these hands within the time limit. And we got one more to go. And we got it. So we got all the hands down. And we still have hit points left over. So now it's just a matter of getting rid of her. I hope you guys enjoy the good ending. You can hit time. Emily. Emily. Wow, good Emily. game. That was Please awesome, Sarah. Tina? And I've definitely never seen anything like that before. Yeah, that was amazing to watch. And we'll definitely go through the credits so you can kind of see how the scoring works on the end of this. But enjoy the good ending, one of four endings for Silent Hill the Arcade. For I want to thank you guys for allowing time. me to to, to showcase this ridiculous anyway, game, even though it's not quite a speed run in my and repertoire. Dark. Oh right, it must have been very scary. It's all right now. The nightmare is over. So this is the ghost of Hannah that Eric is um, snuggling. What went wrong? I can't find my mommy. Maybe she doesn't like me anymore. That's why she did such a thing. Do you hate your mommy, Kana? It's the same with your mommy. She would never dislike you. No, thank you guys. This was fun. I love showcasing this game because, like, nobody knows it exists. Yeah, it was amazing to actually get to see this. I didn't know it existed as well. I'm guilty as charged, so it was great to finally see it. So now we see that Hannah gets reunited with her mother. 
And we do get to see that the little Baroness gets to float off into the ocean and, uh, or I'm sorry, through the lake. And Eric gets to see his great grandfather finally redeemed. Yes, it was the, no, it never went, it never, yes, it was a Titanic. We can see Emily and her father back there, safe and sound. So we did save every single character possible. And we know it's a good ending because he says, of course. It does play through the entire ending theme song of Promise. I can't, I can skip this. And we can go to the, uh... It's a good song, though. An A rank and two S ranks! Thank you, guys! Nice that was a shocker! There. Now, it always says game over, it doesn't mean I lost. It always it's does that game over. Is it? Right, that's that's the end. That's it. So technically you would be able to enter in your name here, but I'll tell you what It doesn't work So we just enter a bunch of squares that's it. And and that is Silent Hill the arcade Thank awesome, you all Sarah. That was awesome, and I just, I have to say, you did an excellent job with the run. It was very entertaining, and if you want to plug your channel or anything else, right now is a great time. Yeah, so my name's, again, my name's Sarah Avium. I play horror games poorly. I love playing all horror games, anything from real shooters like this, side-scrollers, first-person shooters, third-person shooters, old games, retro games, new games. Come on over to my channel. We play games casually, and I am a, an expert slow runner. And I have to say, Sarah, you're seriously one of the nicest persons I know. Um, Sarah also is one of our lead hosts for Thunderthon, and I highly encourage you to go give her a follow. Up next, we will have Nico Hart with his redemption run, running Alien Isolation on a steering wheel. And I did hear if we reach our goal of 3,000 pounds, he will suddenly transform into Dr. Evil. And I did hear of another incentive where if you donate five pounds during the run, you can hear video game roulette. Um, I forgot what he said he was going to do. One second. All right, so. Oh, he, oh yes, here you are. For every $5 donation, if you guys want me to read your donation in the Darth Vader voice, just leave the hashtag Lord Vader in your message, and I will read it out in the Darth Vader voice. Perfect. That's going to be awesome. All right, so we're just going to go to a little bit of a break for a couple of minutes, put on some tunes, stand up, stretch, and we'll be back soon with Nico Hart running some Alien Isolation. I just want to say thanks again, Sarah, for your wonderful run, and it was just excellent having you on. Thank you. I had so much fun. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>